Oh, Dad, you didn't die. Quit goofing around. Uh, you're right. I could still hold my breath a little longer. But time was running out. That's a big rudder. That's a big rudder. That's a big rudder.
Sorry, I didn't know you were this into my story. I'll try to be more serious.
That's a big rudder. I can't see it. This one doesn't open. It's the ship's hold. Home sweet home. Why do you owe Captain Madison a favor? Well, ironically, I was sealed up in a crate, and she freed me. Oh, you mean like I just did? It's not the same thing. Hey, Murray, why don't you come with me? I can show you around the ship. No. I really think you should come with me. No. I can get you close to LeChuck. Hmm. I would very much like to be able to spy on LeChuck himself. <laughs> very well. You may transport me. That is one revoltingly greasy portal. No way am I picking that up with my hands. I think it's chicken grease. I hope my roommates don't get upset. I think it's chicken grease. I hope my roommates don't get upset. That is one revoltingly... I guess it's a good sign if they're not trying to leave. How's it going in there, Murray? I didn't realize how hard it would be to see anything from your pocket. Good thing I have excellent hearing. Aw, I barely touched it. It just fell apart. I was barely even here. Let me apologize in advance. You're gonna have to take one for the team. I see no team. Only you, withered zombie man. Let me assure you that whatever you're planning, it will be nothing compared to the torments that I will... Ah! I would admire your methods if they had been used on someone else. Uh, thanks, I guess. Revoltingly. How's it going in there, Murray? I don't want to talk to you right now, except to say that exquisite punishments await you at your final resting place. Hey, what are you... Next stop, Monkey Island. Swabby! Good. Why are you out in the open? 
Perhaps you're not ready for the deck. Where's your mop? And also... I... <gasps> I can explain, sir. I guess you'll be first swab now, whatever your name is. A promotion? I won't let you down. This'll be ruined now it's spilled. Start making the potion again. I'll be in me cabin, gritting me collection of other people's teeth. Redo the potion? Is that even possible? No! We barely scraped together the ingredients the first time. We're out of almost everything. Let's tip the cauldron back and pretend we're working on it. Maybe he'll forget about it eventually. You don't know LeChuck like I do. But it'll buy us some time. Is this one of those times where you substitute different stuff for all the ingredients and it works anyway? No, they were right. We couldn't make the potion again. But you told me that you can't get to Monkey Island unless you make the potion. Well, I did. But as it turns out, there is a way. We storytellers call what's happening now a twist. There was an important piece of the puzzle that I hadn't seen yet. I started by looking around the ship for opportunities. Hey! It's empty now. What's that? Blendering prospects. Ah, uh, you won't need those. I'll find a way for us to get to Monkey Island. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nice view up here. Sure. I'm just looking around for another way to get to Monkey Island. Be my guest. Ahoy! It's Captain Madison! Ready the cannons! Don't worry about it. The Chuck already knows they're out there. Wait, never mind. Something's going on. They've got a cauldron on deck. That looks like a cinnamon stick. Mint, squid ink. Hey, wait a minute. I know that recipe. They didn't come to sink us. Those weasels are going to Monkey Island. Okay. They undercut my three, I mean, three woods expedition so they could claim the prize for themselves. You don't want to say that name out loud on this ship. Trust me. Why aren't they happier? A well-placed stab in the back is cause for celebration. Aha! They're missing a skull. We don't need a potion because they have one. Mm, what? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Make ready to sail. Do I look like a quartermaster to you? You sure don't look like one to me. I'll go talk to Iron Rose. This is gonna be great. If you say so, Swabby. These things get more sophisticated <laughs> every year. Would that we all... Well, it looks like they haven't figured out their skull problem yet. Good. I have an amazing idea. Does it involve mopping? No, it involves following another ship to Monkey Island. See, Captain Madison is just east of us right now. They're brewing the potion to go to Monkey Island. So? So I'm gonna help them finish it, and then we follow them. All I need to do is get them a skull somehow. Make ready to sail. No. We don't even want to go to Monkey Island. Golet gave us a perfect excuse to skip it, and now you're about to screw it up! Let's lock him in the hole! Whoa, hang on! What do you mean you don't want to go to Monkey Island? It's not a cryptic metaphor, Swabby. We mean we don't want to go. There's nothing on that island except for the secret. 
The secret doesn't split six ways. <clears throat> Seven. LeChuck only wants it because of his obsession with that stale glass of milk guy brush three board. I think you're making a mistake. Let's put it to a vote. Voting is supposed to be at one bell. Fair enough. The matter before the crew is the question of whether we should go to Monkey Island. I vote nay. 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 <clears throat> Aye. The vote to go has to be unanimous. It isn't. Meeting adjourned. What? Unanimous? It means I had to convince each and every member of the crew to change their vote. Wow. Can we vote on going to Monkey Island again? You want another vote? Go ring the bell yourself. Would you like to read this pamphlet? No thanks. I've already read that lots of times. I'd like to discuss your vote on the Monkey Island issue. It's nay. I'm afraid going to Monkey Island doesn't really have anything in it for me. Wouldn't the change of scenery be nice? I've seen lots of scenery. How about I make it worth your while? Go on. I'll be your best friend. My best friend will always be the sea. Or maybe Putra. Well, what would you be interested in? Well, I've got all I need, but I'm bored. We used to have an entertainment budget, but this fancy new ship is leveraged like crazy, so there are no frills anymore. Entertainment, you say? I'm sure I could come up with something. Entertainment is my middle name. <laughs> well, that's funny. Oh, I do like a good joke. They don't last very long, though. Listen, about that trip to Monkey Island. That we voted against. Exactly. I want to try to persuade you to change your mind about it. Or if not your mind, then at least your vote. Good luck with that. I'm regretting hiring you right now. I could do you a favor in return. Win-win. That's how politics works, right? I don't bargain away my opinions and judgment for cash or favors, Swabby. I'm not for sale. I have a moral center. Uh, I've got one of those. It's just kind of small and off to the side. Like a hangnail. Let's hope it doesn't cause you any trouble in your career as a pirate. Mm, not so far. Okay. Never mind. I don't. on going to Monkey Island again. You want another vote? Go ring the bell yourself. I still think... Why? As quartermaster, it's who I will... I've been with... Exactly! In the beginning? Through a reddish... I don't know. That can't even remember what I... Makes it hard to follow his lead on a personal quest like the secret... Oh. Do you remember giving me this at my orientation? It's got some good stuff in it. Oh, yeah. I put it together myself, you know. No kidding. <laughs> Betray trust, commit fraud, threaten bodily harm. So unswerving, so unapologetically ruthless. This 
really takes me back. Me too. Uh, back to earlier today in my case. LeChuck is really an amazing leader. You can hang on to that if you like. No, thanks. I'm good. Now that I've remembered why it is that I'm willing to follow LeChuck anywhere, even when I think he's doing something stupid. Just so we're clear, that means you're going to vote to go to Monkey Island now? Yes. Even though I know you want me to. Works for me. This is a bunch of empty containers of preservatives and coloring agents. Working hard? Never. Let's talk. Are there any particular... I don't know a lot about your interests. My main interests are sleeping and eating. I try to do both as much as possible. Do you have a favorite food? Oh, yes. Scorched Alaska. Salty like widow's tears. Sweet like revenge. And fiery like a hot poker to the tongue. Uh, except when Putra makes it, unfortunately. She does not make it hot enough for my taste. What's the book? It's a book of underworld jokes. Jokes from beyond the pale. <laughs> Unheard of in this world. Underworld jokes, you say? Hilarious. Would you describe that book as entertaining? I would use a shorter word, but yes. Think you'll be done reading soon? Nah, I don't really have anything else to do. Does it hurt to have your head on fire? I'm a demon. We're sort of all about that. You get used to it. Keep up the bad work. Always. How's it going in there, Murray? I don't know what you're planning now, but I'm going to see you burn for it. Uh, Flair? What? I'll leave you alone now. Yes, you will. That is one revoltingly greasy portal. So, Putra. Chef, Putra. Please call me Chef. Everybody does. They do? No, never. But they should. I'd like to try to save your breath. I'm unswayable. There's only one opinion I value, and that's Iron Roses. She's the smartest one on the ship. Second smartest. Now that you mention it, I'm remembering that I said just last week that I'd always vote with Rose. So I'm going to do that on this, too. Whatever way Rose votes, that's how I'll vote. Thanks for reminding me. Great. How come people don't call you chef? Because they're a bunch of pedestrian clods who wouldn't know a great meal if it hit them in the mouth. Which, by the way, it often does, if you cook it right. Or wrong. But mainly it's because technically I am a cook, not a chef. It's a job title.
So a chef outranks a cook? Yeah, of course on a ship this size, I'd still be the only one making food. It's just about the recognition. So a chef is- Not necessary, but being a cook is mostly about mastery of mate- Anyone who's tasted- Does a chef get paid more? <laughs> I mean, yes, it's the pr- well, have you tried to get a promotion? Only about it. I keep the written- There is absolutely nothing wrong with this. But LeChuck refuses to sign it. Management. <laughs> yeah. I don't suppose you know how to make Scorched Alaska? Of course I can make Scorched Alaska, but I'm not going to. Why not? Scorched Alaska is the kind of thing that requires a skilled chef. Apparently, I'm still only a cook. I see. I'll let you get back to cooking. Yeah. Why don't I see if I can make some headway with your promotion? I think LeChuck likes me. <laughs> sure, knock yourself out. If nothing else, we'll all get some entertainment out of it. Uh, Flair? What? Can we talk about your- No. Oh, come on. There must be something I can do for you. Something you want? Nothing you can give me. Try me. Okay, fine. Earlier today, I lost my grandmother's whale knife. It was a gorgeous heirloom. I treasured it. And now it's gone. Bring me the knife, and I'll vote for your stupid plan. Great. Uh, can you tell me where and when you last saw it? It was sticking out of Gullet's back. Right after I stabbed him with it. Probably still there. LeChuck threw Gullet over the side. Yep. Joke's on you, Swabby. <laughs> and I guess on me too. Now beat it, I'm busy. At least they don't smell like live chicken. That is one revoltingly greasy portal. <laughs> I have to say, I thought you were gone for good. I was feeling no small amount of pleasure about it, in fact. It'll take more than a bath to get rid of old Gullet. Now pull me out of here before I hang you by your own intestines, Swabby! Well, it's actually first swab now. What is? Me! The Chuck gave me your job. You! Not lightly. I do prefer a management role. Less scrounging, more lounging. I'm gonna give your pancreas to my rat for a pillow! You might want to take a friendlier tone. This is my friendly tone, you blabbering pile of excrement! I can hold my breath for ten minutes, more or less. How about you? Well, technically, I don't have to breathe at all. But it's a reflex, isn't it? You can't really stop doing it. And it feels like drowning the whole time. So get me out of here right now, you colossal git! I'm the only one who knows you're down here. Not true. I know I'm down here, don't I? I guess you've got me there. Ha! Nice talking to you, Gullet. What do you mean, nice talking to you? Oh, I don't mean it literally, of course. Just politely ending our conversation. Wait, no, no, get, get me out of here for pity's sake. You baboon! I get you for this. He's pretty securely pinned there by the rudder. There's also a knife in his back, but that's clearly not why he's stuck. That's Flair Gory's grandmother's whale knife. It's a beauty. You clown. That isn't gonna do any good. It wasn't even bothering me. It's the ship's hold. Home sweet home.
I found your knife. My grandmother's knife? Thanks, Swabby. I have no idea how you pulled that off, but I guess a deal's a deal. I'll vote for your stupid plan. You! Swabby! Come over here! You be new to my ship. I like to meet each of my crew. What's your name, Swabby? Mike. Look, I'm just going to call you Swabby. It's not good for the chain of command if we get too friendly. Any questions? None? Good, I likes an unquestioning crew. Now, get back to work before I use your entrails as bait. Wait! Um... Don't forget the keel hauling tomorrow at four. I like to think of it as a team building exercise. I won't. That is one revoltingly greasy portal. If I clean off the grease, I won't be able to leave this way. If I clean off the grease, I won't be able to leave this way. I'll leave my work down here. I guess it's a good sign if they're not trying to leave. Ye be swabbing! Keep your eyes off that map, Swabby! That be the one true map to the secret of Monkey Island, procured by me at great expense and no small amount of trouble. So, I'll not have you touching it. Even with your eyeballs. Leastwise, not while they still reside in your skull. That's my private area, Swabby. You'd think on a ship there would be opportunity to change the water once in a while. You might want to change this water someday. Just a thought. It's not water. I'm marinating the plate scrapings for tomorrow's dinner. Can I give you a hand washing these plates? Nah, I already did those. This is a bunch of empty containers of preservatives and coloring agents. This is a bunch of empty containers of preservatives and coloring agents. That looks like a permanent stain. Ugh, smells worse than it looks.
That looks like a permanent stain. Putra makes a compelling case for promotion. Putra makes a compelling case for promotion. in here, but Putra really deserves a promotion. She makes a mean eyeball soup. And when I say mean, I do mean that quite literally. Did she put you up to this? Putra has been trying to wrangle a promotion out of me for years. Go tell Putra her plan failed, and to make sure she's at the keel hauling at four. I may have figured out a way. I spotted another ship making a potion, and we can just follow them. What does that nameplate say? Uh, the one there, on my desk. It says LeChuck. And LeChuck is a leader, not a follower. One more thing, Swabby. Now that you be first Swab, you'll be needing to fill out the Swabby report. Take this report, fill it out, and give it to Iron Rose for her initials. Some say it's Grog that keeps a pirate ship running. It's not. It's paperwork. Ghost rats. Ugh. It's revolting, and it's a slipping hazard. Ugh, I'll keep my distance. Mothers are more vicious defending their young. That is one revoltingly greasy porthole. It's like no one on this ship has heard of recycling. Disgraceful. Ew. 
it would take forever to itemize in here. I'll just make a blanket entry for the whole galley. That's it. I've completed. That is one revoltingly greasy Hey, Gullet. I already have enough items in my report. Time to give it to Iron Rose for her initials. that far. Here, we've got a bunch of other reports ready for the captain's signature. Why don't you take him the whole stack? That is one revoltingly greasy portal. The rest of my gear is in there. I hope it'll be safe down here. It's probably fine. Ugh, I'll keep my distance. Mothers are more vicious defending their young. That is one revoltingly- Hey, Gullet. I'm assuming no one will actually read this and come down here to find him.
bolting, and it's a slipping hazard. It's the ship's hold. Home sweet home. I'll keep my distance. Mothers are more vicious defending their young. things to list on my report? No thanks. I'll do my job, you do yours. It's like no one on this ship has heard of recycling. This is a bunch of empty containers of preservatives and coloring agents. Thanks, chicken. Don't bite my fingers off, okay? That is one revoltingly greasy porthole. It's the ship's hold. Home sweet home? I'll keep my distance. Mothers are more vicious defending their young. I'm not sure if this is ectoplasm or what. Ugh. Thank you. 
Reminder to all crew, extend. I've already added the empty crates to my report. That looks like a permanent stain. Yeah, smells worse than it looks. Importantly, is the taste of after chicken the same as the aftertaste of chicken? If I clean off the grease, I won't be able to leave this way. 